29-year-old Elijah Henderson killed Carrie McCaw, her daughter Casey, and Leslie Prather and her daughter Ryan. 45-year-old Robert Lockwood was charged with manslaughter and the death of 20-year-old Cassidy Meadows. And explosion. There is no celebration, just sadness. This is a bridge that killed 43 people. The towering concrete icon of the Mirandi Bridge collapses into a jagged heap. Trucks and cars shoot into the void and plunge to the riverbed 50 meters below. People working under the bridge are crushed. 43 people lie dead in their vehicles or under the rubble. What exactly went wrong that day and triggered the sequence of events that brought down the Mirandi Bridge may never be known. But a fault in the original design and delayed repair work almost certainly contributed significantly to the disaster. Is that instead of helping to save Crystal, the motorist live streamed the accident on Facebook. Look what happened to me, he tells his Facebook friends. A car crossed in front of me. But cops say the crash was his fault. They say he was driving drunk and veered into the wrong lane, slamming into 29-year-old Christelle Kincaid's minivan. She was eight months pregnant. Doctors performed a C-section to try to save the unborn baby, but it was too late. The baby was laid to rest in Christelle's arm. Killing a 97-year-old woman as she slept in her bed. 42-year-old Darwin Caldwell, a man with at least 50 prior arrests. 25-year-old Sundin Johnson, he's lost both legs, and if he survives, he may end up with permanent brain damage. Well, Trayvon McMorris sped away from the scene and crashed into another car. The driver of that car, a husband and father of four children, later died. A search inside McMorris's car turned up marijuana, several bags of suspected cocaine, and a loaded gun. 29-year-old Tamir Whitted of Pottsville stabbed 38-year-old Orwigsburg native George Marcinson repeatedly. He was later pronounced dead. 